Well, hello. Hey. Hello, Bill. <laughs> hello, hello, Lily. Hello, hello, Alexandra. This is so exciting to be um, having this interview with you. Thanks for, for initiating it and having the idea. Uh, you're very welcome. I've been very impressed about um, the work that you've been doing in Greece. And um, I wonder what would be a good way to begin it. Do you want to introduce yourselves a little bit? Do you want to talk a little bit about the situation in Greece? What, what do you think is best? Mm -hmm. I, I just before I introduce myself, I just like to want to thank you because every time you speak, I it feels so good sometimes to have people from the outside that you fill them as allies. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Because uh, you know sometimes when you are in this situation, uh, you feel that the world, most of the world, is against you outside of Greece, the, the mainstream world at least. So every time you see that you have allies and you realize that and becomes, you become aware of that, it's a good feeling. Oh, that's so wonderful for me to hear that. I, I, it makes me happy and um, I get a very warm feeling. So thank you so much for saying that. So, um, I'm Alexander Vesselieu and I'm uh, living mostly in Greece, process worker here in Greece. Mm -hmm. Me too, I'm Lena, Lena Svanidou, and uh, I work with Lily and Alexandra, and we have a little uh, center here, unofficial. <laughs> 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 and it's a little oasis there that we can find together, we can find each other every day, and talk and process things and do things with uh, groups and uh, in general our share our work in all levels. It's like a very good feeling. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. And I'm Lily, Lily Vesely. And yeah, I think I think uh, having a space where we work together in in the space, you know, and each one's doing her work but we're all present is is a nice it is a support. And, uh, that's, as, that's great. Yeah. As Lena said, having our common practice and uh, joint activities along with our individual activities, it's an oasis in the chaos and the, and the dysfunction that we're all living in. So we're, we're lucky to have each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that sounds really meaningful that you have that. You're, like you say, it's an oasis and in the middle of a more difficult surroundings. And wow. I think for me what the Lena said, the, the sense of, you know, being part of a larger community, like uh, being involved in the, in the international crossword community and having connections and sharing information through email on strings and um, also being part of, you know, meeting each other in different places in the world gives you an outside perspective gives you mm. a connection that's important to realize that issues are shared and a lot of <coughs> things that are happening here are not only happening here actually and they're connected to a larger process that's happening around the world around how we're living on the planet and how our economy is based what yeah. our economy is based on and that also is a big support the, that sense of of uh, having this connection and being able to um, share perspectives. Yeah, I think that's really important reminder for people living everywhere that what happens in one place, for example, in Greece, um, is not you know isolated, but it's it's um, it's reflected and it's uh, it's related to what goes on in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So that's thanks thanks for that reminder. Mm -hmm. I see that a lot, you know, sometimes I, when I have time I look on uh, different postings and on Facebook and I see different things happening in different areas on the planet and they're yes. so connected to, you know, struggles to about how we're dealing with the environment, different kinds of investments and the effect that these investments have on the local places and you see that 
you know, around the world, like yes. communities in different places are struggling um, to say to their government or to different uh, investment company, companies that are coming to invest what we're calling yeah. a development, right? It's right. saying we don't want this kind of development. So it's a larger question, what kind, what is development and what does it mean, what does it mean and what effect does it have on the environment and what is sustainable 